factory reviews by devon.com today we are reviewing uh doing a short review on the coho uh big sports cooler this cooler um, can be purchased at costco for under 70 dollars uh it's comparable to like a yeti or an arctic um which are upwards of a hundred dollars or a lot more especially if you're looking at the yeti um so but how is the build quality compared to like an arctic or a uh, or a yeti or one of those uh, coolers um Honestly, I've only tried this cooler once so far, um, and it's kept stuff cold just as long as my uh, uh, Arctic did, which is a very good sign. But overall, um, I use, I don't use ice in these, I use uh, Arctic ice. Uh, this is the Chillin' Brew series, which actually gets your, uh, your uh, contents a little bit cooler uh, than uh, typical ice water, than a typical uh, uh, refrigerator wood that's why they call it chillin brew you know you want your beer and stuff colder than you know uh than maybe your typical refrigerator so that's what the chillin brew series does uh so that was inside here um but anyway let's go over the build quality of this cooler um just like the arctics it comes with uh some uh, lubricant jelly um this lubricant jelly uh just kind of helps uh, lubricate the zippers because the zippers are um kind of uh kind of stiff because of the waterproof proofing on them but let's open this up and look at the inside of it there is plenty of space inside this cooler um, the inside almost looks identical um, it wouldn't surprise me if it was made in the same factory as my arctic um, i know they probably aren't but uh, the inside of this cooler looks almost identical with with the nice thick lid um, you know there's a couple inches there on the lid um, of insulation uh, the inside has a couple uh, at least an inch of insulation maybe a little more um, the seams are nice and uh nice and clean inside of it uh i'm you know i don't use ice in mine but i wouldn't be afraid to use ice in this uh the seams and everything uh you can tell are nice and waterproof the zippers the only thing i don't like about these coolers are the zippers are a little stiff as you can see the zipper is a little stiff to get around but that's what the lubricant jelly is for that it comes with uh, but the zipper does make a nice uh, seal it's a nice waterproof seal as you can see uh, that way if you do use real ice in it or whatnot the ice will not spill out one nice thing about this actual cooler here is it does come with uh, multiple pockets on the front you have a large pocket i usually use this large pocket and stuff uh, store stuff like uh, knives spoons forks uh you know hand sanitizer stuff like that in there it is a nice thick pocket again it's a waterproof pocket like the rest of the cooler but you also have a pocket on the back for electronics cell phones uh even maps uh you know if you're going uh backpacking and whatnot you know you have maps and that sort of stuff and you, you might need a waterproof place to store it so you have a transparent pocket here on the back for that which is a great plus uh Again, like I said, all, all the uh, zippers are a little stiff, but that's just because they are waterproof. Uh, you know, the Yetis are the same way, the Arctics are the same way. Again, it's because they are waterproof. It makes them a little a little stiffer. But once you once you uh, lubricate them and start using them, um, you know, they aren't too awful bad. Uh, one thing I do recommend about this cooler is when you buy it, uh, don't buy it and go straight and use it these coolers do have a very strong chemical smell inside of them so when you buy it you'll want to go and open it up and let that chemical smell out um, that way it's not uh, not as uh, strong and, and potent um, when you uh, when you take it out and use it for the first time um, as you can see on the side where all your uh, carrying straps are going to be attached uh, it is reinforced there's a reinforced layer of uh, plastic on the outside of it as you can see um, i don't know if you can get that close enough to see yeah there you go um, see it's got a reinforced layer of plastic on the outside of it um, which is good because you know uh, these uh, coolers do get heavy so you do not want it to uh, to rip there's plenty of d-links um, on the webbing so that you can uh, hang stuff off of the cooler same up here on the front where the straps are as you can see it's reinforced with plastic which is good and uh you know the bottom is nice and stiff top is nice and stiff now i wouldn't set on it but i mean it's, it's a stiff cooler you know it's well built it's not it's not cheap like a lot of them on the market uh for 70 dollars, i think it's a great deal i think it's a great buy um it's it's almost comparable 100 percent to my arctic cooler uh which did cost around a hundred dollars um, and again 
I'll put this uh, link for this down in the uh, description. Like I said, you can buy it off uh, Costco's website or you can buy it from Coho Coolers. Uh, I can't, I don't know if that's their website or not. Coho Outdoors.com. You can buy it from Coho Outdoors.com. But I'd recommend getting it from uh, Costco just because of the better price. Um, and when you pick one up, I would go to Amazon. I'll put a link for this in Amazon as well. Um, I recommend the Arctic Ice. Um, it's much less expensive than the Yeti bricks. It's much less expensive even than the Arctic bricks. And they make several different models of these. Before I uh, end this review, I do want to go ahead and talk about the different models of these since I caught it out in this review. Um, I'll probably end up doing a full review on these coming up soon anyway. But they do make three different styles. Uh, they make your basic. I think that is the Alaskan series. Uh, the Alaskan series is... Uh, you know, it's typical to what if you go to Walmart and buy some uh, reusable ice bricks. It's not as cold. It's It will not freeze your food, but it'll keep your food nice and cool and safe. Uh, whereas this one here is called the Chillin' Brew. This actually gets down right below freezing. This will actually freeze water and meat and stuff if applied directly to it. Um, the Alaskan series may last a little bit longer just because the freezing point is a little bit higher So it may stay frozen longer, but this one here still stays frozen for a few days, uh, which is great There's another one that I use um, Which I see complaints on all the time. It's called the Tundra series. Uh, the Tundra series is Comparable to a dry ice replacement. So the Tundra series actually gets um, its freezing point is very low It's almost five degrees. I believe so it actually thaws out very quickly, but it's designed to store ice, um, not store ice, but like store ice cream and store frozen meat and keep it frozen just for a few hours. Whereas these are designed more as an ice replacement to keep stuff frozen for a few days when you're camping. So the reason I want to call that out is because I caught it out in the video of this cooler. So I want to make sure that if you do go and buy some Arctic ice, that you buy the uh, actual ice that you need, um, the ice that will work for you. But anyway, Thank you for watching this review. I'll be back soon with another review. I think I'm gonna do some uh, reviews on some uh, audio equipment coming up soon. So I would like to get those up because I've done some outdoor reviews here recently. And and I'm doing some, uh, I'll probably have to do a few more outdoor reviews. So I would like to do, uh, kind of go back into the tech world and do some audio reviews. I got a pile a soundboard coming in that I want to review at some point. Some pile uh, microphones and then some uh, generic micro wireless microphones that I have coming in. And I'd like to get them reviewed at some point uh, coming up in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for those. And I hope everybody enjoys the rest of the day. Thank you.